so this is your last call for this week if you guys don't know we usually do a last call uh video so that way you guys are aware of what is going away last week i didn't have one because i was moving out uh apartments so that's why i didn't have a video out for that one even though that week was pretty stacked unfortunately so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe let's just get into it so to start off dark amelin is the first shader we're going to be looking at and i should actually probably switch out because this is not a good example to uh preview shaders just because uh the taking king set is really really cool but it has an it has a glow over all of the armor which is not the best or ideal spot for shaders so that's where we're going to switch it out but i did collect all of the taken king armor so we will have the review video the shader video and the individual sets video as well for all the classes this week actually because i've done all of them already so be expecting that but for the dark armor you're going to notice a lot of uh blue distressed blue browns um this chrome brown at least for me that's what it looks like and white it's a pretty cool, cool shader i also think it's cool that it actually changes the glow here to a teal which if you guys don't know this helmet is the um the omni oculus mask and this usually is just a purple so you guys i can actually see the purple there we have Cairo's black which is <clears throat> an interesting color combination it's a really cool teal with a really gross green i mean i would still pick it up just in case you might never know what's going to come useful and then dead orbit vision which the, she has sold this one before this is a pretty cool shader i think so it looks better with plate armor though so just be aware of that uh as for the armor sets we're going to be looking at the frumia set for the tight for the hunters <clears throat> and for the other ones i'm not aware because i don't have the names in front of my face but i definitely think this is worth a pickup i'm not going to talk too much about this because i did go over it in my a to one video which you guys have if you guys haven't seen i'll have it up right now it's literally the same thing as this just shorter and yeah we're gonna <clears throat> i go through all of the armor and i personally think you definitely should pick all of this up because it is such a good armor set and it's almost like a historical armor set because this armor set was available back in destiny 2 vanilla this was one of the only armor sets you could get in the beta uh this one plus the crucible armor set and i think the some of the world uh drops as well so definitely a cool armor set to have just in case you might want to use some of the pieces especially for the titans i think titans have really good pieces for it but even the hunters i think some of the pieces are really really cool as for Zer, he's in the hangar in the tower he's currently selling the season of the plunder armor set which is interesting considering i don't think i've ever seen him sell this you definitely should check it out we're gonna go through all of it but we're gonna go through it a little bit faster than the Zer video that i have up right now um just because i want this to be quite fast and not really intrusive in your of your time so armor sets i think a lot of the pieces are really cool again if you want if you want to see more in depth uh overview of the armor definitely check out the zero video because i go into depth of like what pieces you should definitely get but here are the armor sets choose whichever one you want and again if you want my my advice on it go to the video for the weapons we have whispering slab with quick draw and demolitionist cold denial with feeding frenzy and swashbuckler extraordinary rendition with overflow and tap the trigger fractal fist with full auto trigger system and thresh path of the least, re least resistance is stats for all and one for all uh who's with auto loading holster and cluster bomb yeah and nightfall nightfall <laughs> night watch with outlaw and multi-kill clip as for the exotics we have hawk moon with eye of the storm and dead man's tail with warp weapon and cold heart for the other one for the exotic armor Wormhust Crown is what they're offering with pretty terrible rolls. Strong, stronghold with, <clears throat> I mean, like, granted, it's some pretty cool rolls, but like, it's Stronghold. Like, are you really going to use Stronghold? <clears throat> and then Wings of Sacred Dawn, which that mobility is way too high, and I've already gotten the exotic this week. So that's pretty much it for Zer. Again, I. The thing you'll notice about me is I rarely call something a god roll just because if I don't see myself immediately using it, then I just not, kind of don't care because I have like a plus like a lot of weapons in my vault and I that I already don't use. So I'm, I'm much more picky when it comes to like god rolls. Now it's like for, for some people, the cold denial, <clears throat> this one specifically would be like, oh, this is a pretty good roll for me. I'm like, it's fine. Like I definitely would never use it though. So it's like if i call something a god roll it's because it's gonna be a god roll at least for me so that's why you'll never see me post like oh this is a god roll unless it's like actually like oh fuck, this is something you need to get so 
I say this because I got a comment uh, on my Zer video that really made me think about God rolls and content creators. For Eververse, we have Argent Territor, one of the shaders that got completely destroyed because Bungie went and reworked it back in the day. Uh, the, there was no red. I mean, like the red's right there, but it was one of the few shaders that had like a color here that wasn't on it, and it was actually really cool looking. Now it's kind of destroyed. I definitely want to go back and see how the Argent Territorn shader was because I do have a video reviewing it, and it's just night and day because it was just basically a really good silver that <clears throat> homogenized all of the armor pieces into one color, kind of like a. Uh, the shader from last wish also if you hear the rain i do apologize i live in florida it rains here all the time uh golden age wine which is i'm not the biggest fan of this shader i'm gonna be honest with you guys but definitely pick it up still just because again shaders is also one thing that i always tell people to pick up because you might never know when you might need it um all like the stuff at the bottom we have archon prime i don't really care about this ornament i'm gonna be honest with you guys um yeah that's it i don't really care about this ornament i mean if you want to pick it up go man more power to you but i don't want to waste like what is it three thousand it's a thousand i'll think about it uh, we have the osmondius ornament for the shotgun this also does work in the taken um the taken sets so definitely pick it up because it's really really cool we have atlas runner which is uh whatever's and then constant vigilance shell which actually looks pretty cool and then other stuff here that i don't really care about for the other shaders first light is the first shader we're gonna be not a fan of this green and like really gross purple we have coastal suede which on one hand i like the off-white but on the other hand i don't like it so do it that which you will flavido core i'm not a fan of this one i already knew this one um just because green and yellow i don't think yellow is a good color like at all and then safety first which is a really gross orange <clears throat> definitely not picking that up so i would still say pick them all up because they're pretty old but if you don't i completely understand but that's pretty much it for this week let me know what you guys are going to be doing uh or what you guys are going to be picking up rather i definitely think the zer stuff is definitely worth a pickup all of the armor sets is definitely worth a pickup um don't worry about the ada stuff because ada will always be reselling the those pieces but the catch killer i almost never sees or sell it so i definitely would pick all of that up so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later